Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. We've got a new unboxing. This is one of the releases from the latest line of DC Artist Alley from DC Collectibles. Uh, this is the new line from artist Hanainu Saluk, uh, also known as Nooligan. Uh, it's out this September, so Nooligan's signature art style is inspired by classic cartoons, movies, Golden Age comics, and classic newspaper strips. So a mashup of influences you can see in these exaggerated interpretations of some uh, classic characters, Batman, Joker, and Harley Quinn. They're all brought to life in 3D form by sculptor Paul Harding. Uh, so Nooligan, in the release, uh, shared their inspiration for each of these characters. So Harley Quinn, really simple. Nooligan wanted Harley Quinn's pose to stand out as much as she does. Uh, if you also look at all the statues, they have sneakers. So the question is, why sneakers? The inclusion of them is based on the idea that the style shoe can go with anything, anyone, in any situation. Nugan loves the fact that simple uh, sneaker has been around since the early 1900s and has gone in and out of style nearly every decade and worn by every walk of life with little to no change in look. It's something interesting connecting them to the DC universe. Uh, so you can get this uh, unconventional take on Batman, Harley Quinn, and Joker everywhere for 40 bucks. There are three versions of the statues. There's the standard version, which is color. Uh, again, $40. There's a black and white, and the color is uh, limited to 3,000 units. There's a black and white variant. Those are limited to 500, also $40. And this Day and Dead variant uh, from... Uh, you can get it at GameStop, also $40. They're limited to 1,500 units. So DC Collectibles has hooked us up with this before it's come out, and uh, you'll be able to get it this month. So uh, in front is Harley Quinn. We've already done Batman, already done Joker. You can check those out. Uh, but let's go see what the crown princess of crime is like. Right, so each... There's this card in there. Of course, we have autograph the design. Pretty cool. I kind of like this. I think it's just it's a small addition that I think adds something to the experience and the release. Let's free Harley from her a very unique look for Harley. I think that's achieved pretty well. Of course, we have Harley with a bat pointing, like she's Babe Ruth. And um, looks pretty good. Let's go actually start with the detail of the figure itself. We got down to the shoes, uh, like all the uh, previous figures, I think the sneakers stand out pretty well. Like there, There's some depth to the sneaker around the ankle. We, of course, got the lip of the sneaker standing out, and uh, even the laces and then underneath if you look we actually got like a tread on the bottom of the sneaker so it's not just a flat thing i think detail like that's really good i mean harley's pretty basic design as far as shape of the figure and all that i don't think there's uh there's too much that's uh crazy on that uh the actual pose i think is really neat this isn't something i can think of that we've seen harley do before i like the figure uh pointing i think that's neat there's a nice exaggerated look to the uh uh, hand that kind of creates a uh, comedic aspect of it. Um, I'm trying to think. The arm looks a little weird with this bump here. I feel like the elbow should be out. It like looks right. No, is that right? I feel like that's a kind of weird one. We can debate about that one. Doesn't feel like the bump should be a bump there like it is, but you can see it more there. Uh, so that might drive me a little bit. Of course, we got her, uh, I don't know what the hell you would call these things. I'm going to call it a bib. It's around her neck. And the bat, you can see, it has a little bit of give, so you don't obviously want to be careful of that. And then uh, the iconic, uh, the iconic look for the top of the head. Uh, as far as coloring, it's pretty solid. I think, like, the Batman issue with the black, we see some, like, slight white uh, issues on it. Uh, there's also kind of, like, a weird... You can see it maybe on her butt. Uh, here, there's, like, a spot that kind of just looks like maybe glue a little bit. Yeah, I guess that wipes off. Yeah, that wipes off a little bit. Um, but you can see there's, like, a little bit of white on the front 
right there. That didn't seem to wipe off. Um, the black, uh, as far as the bone on the arm, looks probably good on camera. In person, I'm not sure I'm quite digging it as much as the white on the black. Uh, you know, I don't know if the black on the red looks quite as good. Done some miniature painting myself. I've always had trouble doing black on red, and uh, I honestly just don't think it looks as good as it can. So uh, this isn't too surprising. You know, out of the three, I'm probably going to go with the the painting on this one is my least favorite. I do like the detail on the bat. I think think the uh, small little markings on there is really nice touch, uh, and the face is cool. I do kind of like the inclusion of the Day of the Dead around the mask, the lips, and the forehead. I think that's really kind of neat itself. Uh, in the back, we got some some ribs. You know, pretty standard stuff. I think we could maybe gone a little bit crazier with this one, but generally I like the design. Um, as far as the trio, like, it's cool addition. If you're going to get the other two, might as well get this one as well. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of my general thoughts. Like, I think it's maybe the weakest of the three, but there's some really cool aspects of it. Um, you know, minor things that bother me. That elbow is going to drive me insane. Um, it doesn't seem like it's right. I could be wrong. If someone wants to prove me that I'm wrong, like, feel free to link underneath, but that doesn't seem right to me. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. Um, as always, thank you for watching. You can go get this this month in retail stores and comic shops. You can get the color and the black and white version at GameStop. We'll have the Day of the Dead version. We'll have affiliate links so you could purchase them, again, their affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. But by doing that, you help support our site. I want to thank DC Collectibles for hooking us up with the... Uh, Figures for review is always much appreciate your support, and thank you for watching. We appreciate your support as well. If you're into DC collectibles, if you're into DC comics, you're into comics in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep on collecting those toys and statues and collectibles. Keep on reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.